Hi and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. So as you can see, I unboxed more of my Thatcher batteries, but I've got something else in that's pretty cool. So I was trying to figure out what would be the best way to kind of, you know, mount these server rack batteries. And as you know, most server rack batteries, you can normally stack them three high and that's about it. Other, if you go higher, you could potentially have crush issues, but three is good. So I wanted to have a way that I could take my 18 batteries, I could mount them easy, but then move them if I need to, have a sturdy mount, and more importantly, how cheap could I do it but still make it work? So here's what I have. So these say Nexel on them, but they're actually Global Industrial is the maker of these stands. And this is um, food grade, so this is what you would have in like a restaurant or what have you. So the dimensions are 20 by 26 by 12. What's interesting about this is since it is uh, an inch and a half square tubing, that's aluminum, that's all welded, um, it's got a nice weight capacity. So if you look at each one of my server rack batteries, they're about 100 pounds. And you can see it's, it's holding it no problem. The reason being, even though this weighs eight pounds, it can actually hold 3,000 pounds. So 3,000 pounds is the weight rating of this. So I have something that I can move around if I ever needed to, um, and it's inexpensive. I paid maybe $80, $90 each. I'll have links for this um, if you want to do something similar. The only other thing that I'm probably going to do, instead of putting the rack gears on these, I'll probably have a piece of aluminum uh, going across and then attach it on. That way the batteries can't slide. But I'm going to have a total of 18 batteries kind of going across here and then have my three inverters up on top. And I think it'll be a nice clean look. I'll have my uh, T-Class fuses uh, here and then um, I'll also have uh, probably my T-Class fuse for the AC output on that wall. And then it's going to go over to the house and then uh, power the house. So I'm going to keep on unpacking these servers, stack them up. But I think this will be a pretty clean look when it's all said and done. I think I'm going to be very happy with these batteries. Um, the quality, as I showed in another video, is really nice. And it will give me around 90,000 watt hours of power for the house. And then for the shop, as you remember, I've got 60,000. So hopefully that will be enough. And uh, if not, you can always add more. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks again for watching Mike's Garage. So these say uh, uh, next door.